Sunday morning. Getting close to 10. Finally got up at about 9-ish. After falling asleep at, I don't know what time, and then being woken up however many times by the little, the littlest hobo as I called her yesterday. Holy shit. I don't know how much Tiff has slept. Not much, I would imagine, because I know I wasn't sleeping a whole lot either. So, now, before I start my duties for the day, I gotta unload the car and get all that stuff out of here. So, I gotta put the phone down so I can do that. The day has begun. We are on the road. I don't know how much I'm going to get because I think it might be a busy day. So safety first after all. I'm not going to be talking to you guys while I'm driving too much. So, you know, like I said, safety, legality first. But I'll check in with you. So, keep it up. Update as the day goes on. Quarter after three. Just saw something interesting around the corner. Saw uh, some kids on some skateboards crossing the street. They got to the sidewalk and then a car at a red light. People in it were yelling at them to one of them to do a kickflip. Kid tries twice, does a kickflip, then everybody in the car just like loses their mind. Ah! <sighs> the beauty of some random things that happen sometimes. Always entertaining. Never a dull moment. So it's 6 p.m. Still sunny out. Quite, uh, quite nice of a day. Uh, things have slowed down though a little while, so uh, yeah. Kind of had time in between things to kind of start looking up different podcasts to listen to, you know, maybe something uh, on the marketing side, social media marketing, kind of relating to my, uh, to the biz, so I can kind of get some more ideas, maybe a little bit of extra motivation wouldn't hurt, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff, something to listen to while I roam the mean streets of the seawall, so, if, uh, I was going to say, if anybody knows of any good ones that maybe I haven't stumbled across, don't be shy. I'm always uh, open to ideas, always looking for for uh, ideas from left, right, center, all that stuff. All directions. So, yeah, just really kind of taking in the sun as things calm down a bit. So, about another couple of hours and then at least I'm done this part of my day. And then I get to check on Tiff, who I'm sure is still recovering from our night with little Miss Cranky Pants. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully your day's coming along just as good as mine is. A random test in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the episode. I turned it sideways. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. I don't know if that's better for you guys or not. Uh, if it is, just say so. And then, you know, comments or what have you. And then I'll just try to make a mental note to keep doing it sideways from now on. So, yeah, I think it's reasonable. Might make it easier for the YouTube folks instead of having the big black bars on either side. I don't know. Random test, just to see what happens. I was trying to get a lot of B-roll footage, too, by having the camera on the outside, but the mount is kind of in the way. So, plus, you know, only so much space on the phone and what have you. So, maybe B-roll footage might be added in later on. It's, it's only episode six. Like... There's so many other places we can go with this, but uh, I'm intrigued by the process. I'm actually enjoying the process, so kind of cool. Anyway, back to the task at hand. So we took a bit of a jump forward, um, 9.30, I think it is, right now. Still sticking with this sideways, and that's about, I think, that the the happiest thing I'm going to say in this video. So, not to say that I got some bad news, but sometimes you run into those issues where, like, you know, life hits you with a curveball. Um, I, uh, I went through that within the last little bit, between the last little bit and now. Um, so, I'm a little pissed off, and I'm going to try not to convey it too much into here because I still want to try to be optimistic you know by and large but I also said when I when I started doing this that I wasn't gonna I was gonna filter I was gonna be straight up so if I was upset you'd see me upset and if things were good hopefully which would 
preferably be the majority of the time, you would see that. Um, unfortunately, this is the former and not the latter. So um, I guess I got to get point number one off my chest and say, um, I know some of you guys know, you know, what I do in in terms of what what jobs I have, you know, what I do for a living currently in addition to what I'm trying to build up. Um, and I have conversations with people and they they look at me like I'm either crazy or, or, or stupid or some kind of combination and they say, you know, why are you why do you have three jobs and why are you trying to start two businesses and you're always looking for ways to keep moving, you know, to keep working, to keep making money. And then in some rare cases, you have my other YouTube channel where, which is like, basically that's the majority of the casual time I have um, is devoted to that. So my answer to why do you work so much is because I have to. Um, not necessarily because I have to money wise, although that is a big reason for it, but I have to because, you know, shit doesn't take care of itself. You know what I mean? I want to, I want to be able to, to do things and to have things, but not, but even more so I want to be able to actually have the proper peace of mind that you're supposed to have as an adult and right now I don't have that um, and I'm working my way into having that right we're going through a big transitional phase right now where as I sit in the back right now of this house that's only gonna be mine for about another month not yet knowing where we're gonna be and 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 how we're gonna get there and how we're gonna make it work you know like I said life throws you curveballs you just got to figure out when to swing and when to let it fly by. Um, so obviously right now I'm in a phase where I don't know if I should swing or not, which probably means I'm just going to try. Um, and by, by swinging, I mean working more, taking on more work, more than what I probably should. Um, by most people's standards but really that's just how I operate I was gonna say that's how I work but that's how I operate um, why waste time why sit around and fucking like I'll, I'll break it to you straight I do I have an internet account absolutely I have an internet account now because I need it for what I need to do um, and yeah I, I I have a, a, a Netflix account mostly for my wife because I don't fucking use it. So I don't have a paid television subscription and a lot of people don't anymore. But just to really drill in the point, I don't sit around generally and do fuck all because there's no time to do fuck all because why would you just piss time away doing nothing? I don't, I don't get it. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a wrestling fan who doesn't really watch wrestling all that much anymore, save for a couple hours here and there, maybe once every couple of months when there's something that I deem worth scheduling the time to watch it, preferably with friends or families, because uh, I refuse to do a solo experience because why the fuck bother, right? Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is a lot of people bitch about their circumstances right and say I don't have enough and I want to have more money so that we can do things because the bills don't fucking go away what are you gonna do you can't just do nothing you have to pay your bills you have to work and if you don't like your circumstances then work fucking more there there's no other way I can put it to you and I wish I were able to show you more in in some of these episodes and I try but with some circumstances for safety reasons my own I don't and then in other circumstances with other jobs confidentiality and, and who my clients are and discussing certain private matters I can't or definitely shouldn't 
Um, so there's only so much that you're going to get. You're going to get more of this business experience from the ground up as much as I can share, which I'm hoping that in this next week I can devote more time to. Because this past weekend, obviously with the wedding, hasn't enabled me to do that. So starting tomorrow, primary focus when not working is building the business and trying to get the home situation figured out so that I can swing at this goddamn curveball and hit it out in left field. Um, that's about as many baseball analogies as you're going to get. But if you're someone who is in a circumstance where you're not happy doing what you're doing or you're not happy with where your circumstances are, look at yourself. Really, look at yourself and say, how much am I working? Okay, what am I doing with that time when I'm not working? Can I be working more? And the answer to that last question is more than likely yes. And then at that point, the only difficult question you really have to answer, it's not so much a question, it's more so a statement of look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, am I really willing to put in the work to get to where I want to be? And if the answer is yes, then do it. Follow through with it. Do what I'm doing. You know, or do your own version of, of what I'm doing is what I'm saying. Do you and do it to the best of your ability. But if the answer to that is no, I'm not willing to, to put in the time and to put more work, well then stop fucking complaining. Because no one's going to listen to you. Unless they have to. But other than that, Winners don't listen to losers. That's the easiest way I can put it. So without me getting too pissed off, I found that that was a creative enough way to get these thoughts out to you guys. So hopefully if you feel that, you know, someone needs to hear it, feel free to share it. I could certainly use the eyes on, on, my, uh, on my spiels. So anyway, it's getting a little bit chilly. I got my coat on, but I'm bare feet. Well, socks, but... You get the drift. I'm going to go inside and uh, take a breather. Try to wear off this headache and maybe do a little bit more work. Who knows? Anyway. Uh, Monday's just a few hours away. I hope everybody finds it within them to uh, attack Monday full force. I, for one, have got a longer work schedule already than expected tomorrow. And I plan on adding to it by starting at it early and going at it late. And I'm going to tear Monday's fucking face off. I hope you guys do the same. Peace.